up and going. Hello, hello, I'm here on Facebook now. My tripod is not being my best friend over here on Facebook for me. There we go. Okay, can you guys see me on both? I think you can. So I put together, actually Mandy and I both worked on this. Um, we put together some looks that are starting from airport all the way through like, um, so we've got airport, we've got brunch, we've got beach, we've got shopping days, we've got just like day out, uh, if you're going off resort or off your Airbnb, wherever you're staying, we've put together looks for that. So I figured I'd start at the beginning and then we'd work our way through. Um, one goal that I always have when I travel is to pack light because I hate unpacking. <laughs> So if I can pack everything and pack the least amount of things as possible, that is what I'm going to do. So I tried to put together outfits that you can mix and match as well for these vacation styles because like I said, I don't like to unpack a whole bunch of things. I don't like to have a ton of laundry. So if I can get away with like wearing a few different styles um, without having to pack a ton and if I can carry on even better, that's like my goal. So to start for an airport outfit, I like to be cute but comfortable. Um, I always start with four pairs of shoes because typically on a vacation, I feel like you can't see the shoes on Instagram. Let me tip this just a tad. There we go, is that better? Okay, um, typically on vacation, I like to try to pair, take four pairs of shoes, especially like a beach vacation. So I like to have a comfortable like walking sneaker. I like to have a sandal that is more beachy, um, that I can wear in the sand, wear to the pool, wear to wherever. I like to have a little bit dressier sandal that still could be worn to the pool, but can be paired with outfits um, and things like that. And then I like to have a dress shoe, which either a wedge or a heel, most of the time I'm more of a wedge person. Um, but we do have some super cute heels that are really comfortable as well. I did pick the wedges for today though, um, to show you guys. So to start, I wear my bulkiest pair, which will be my sneaker for the airport because that is what is going to take up the most room in the suitcase and be the heaviest. So I always try to style around the shoe because shoes take up the most space. They are the heaviest things in your suitcase. So for me, I usually wear my sneaker and then I like to be comfortable. These joggers are like amazing. They are a kind of, I don't know what you would call it. It's not like a linen, but it's that really kind of soft material. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. It's a really soft, these are like a denim blue almost um, in color. I know they come in black as well. These have the cinched ankles, so you can kind of like um, pull them up a little bit, especially if you're taller and need the longer inseam. These are a great one. You can also um, adjust the drawstring on these, which I like, but these are so comfortable. And what I like is that this is an easy pair to wear to the airport. And then once you land, I always like to like freshen up right when we get there because a lot of times we get there, we haven't eaten other than like airplane, airport food, and we like to go to dinner right away. So this is a really good pair that's cute enough to put on like another cuter top, um, which I'll show you next, and then go out to eat. Um, so these joggers, like I said, they come in the blue, which I have on, the denim blue, and then they also come in the black color. Um, and they're just a really comfortable pair. And I'm in the medium. What I like about these, they do have the pockets in the back too. What I love about these is that typically in this type of material, I have to size up to the large because I carry all of my weight right through my butt and my hips. Um, and a lot of times this fabric will just pull on me so much. Like if it's this fabric, it'll be like really tight across here. This pair is not that way at all. It's really like a great fit. It's not too loose. It's not too like baggy throughout the whole thing, but it fits me really nicely in my normal size medium. So I would say stick true to size in those and they're comfy. You will get just a little bit of stretch out in them, which I like too, because then you get kind of that really comfy look um, as well. So then I paired it with, and I didn't do a very good job tucking this, but this is just one of our little V-neck um, tees. I love these. We have these in a bunch of colors. I think there's black, there's a red, there's a blue. Is there a mustard in this one or a purple? No, just the ivory black, red, blue, and white. Oh, ivory black or white, blue, 
white, blue, red, and black are the colors. Um, and then I did a bralette. Oops, you can see my regular bra there. But I did a black bralette. Um, I also usually pack a white one as well. But I like to wear these because <clears throat> typically on the beach, these are just a great thing to kind of wear under a lot of stuff. So um, especially if you don't want to wear like a regular like wired bra or anything like that. These are really cute. So you can either kind of, if you're going for more of like that slouchy look, you can kind of do the bra tuck. You could tie this if you wanted. If you're more of somebody who likes to tie these for a little bit cuter look, you can just do the little front tuck like I had at the beginning. These are just a great basic tee. And then the great thing about these, they're super light. They're nice and lightweight. They're flowy. They'll look really cute with like a jean short later on in your trip. Um, I don't know about you guys. I like my husband and I, we stay at Airbnbs all the time because I like to be able to do laundry <laughs> so I don't have to pack as much. And then when I get home, I can just unpack and it's done and I don't have to worry about it. Um, but so I would rewear this as well, as long as I didn't spill on it, depending on <laughs> me and white, you know, how that goes. Um, and then obviously you always need to bring a jean jacket on the trip because you never know when it's going to be kind of chilly, especially if you're going to go like walk on the beach in the evening or something, it gets kind of cold. Um, a simple jean jacket is easy. And plus you can then wear this on the plane. If I don't get my finger caught in the distressing on this one, um, you can just wear this on the plane and you've got like a really cute, easy look. Um, and you can take it on, take it off tie it if you need to, uh, but you don't have to pack it then. So it's a great um, denim option. I know we've got a few different jean jackets. This is the distressed one. It is in the link. Um, like I said, I told this to Instagram, Facebook. We were a little bit later getting live there, so I had to type out the link, but the link is in the profile if you want to shop any of this stuff. Like I said, this is really more of just a um, helping you guys style for different things because we get a lot of requests for that um, so the link is in the bio though on Instagram and it is in the description on Facebook we put together a collection so all of this stuff will be in there um, and now I'm gonna change so let's say we landed I'm gonna change into we're gonna go for drinks real quick and maybe like a light dinner before we have like the full whatever like a light afternoon snack um, so I'm gonna change real quick. I'm actually gonna change my shoes too. So give me just a second and I'll jump into this one and I'll show you how you can transition these joggers into a little bit more or less casual of a style. All right, let me get all tucked in here. I was just telling Mandy I should have brought a mirror out here. It's been a while since I've been live, so I'm like not up on my game, you know? We hadn't gone live in a long time. I mean, I've gone live just to answer questions about like the changeover and stuff, but oh, which reminds me, if you are new and are watching, um, we do have, I'm gonna tuck my bra down just so you guys can see the, not my normal bra. But we did change over. We have a new website and a new mobile app. Um, so if you have not updated or have not re-downloaded, if you're an Android, our new mobile app, um, you can do so in your app store. Android did have to delete and re-download. Apple should have been able to just update your phone or update our app in your phone um, and it should have been good. But if you guys have any questions on that, we can surely answer them for you. But all right, now here's a fun, super simple, way to now just kind of dress that up a little bit to go for <clears throat> drinks, um, maybe like an afternoon snack after you land. So you've gotten two outfits in one. This could also be like just another daytime. You're having a casual daytime. Um, something, you know, that you're at the beach where you guys aren't doing too much. You don't feel like being at the beach. You're kind of just checking out the resort or checking out the town or anything like that. This is a really good option. These pants are so lightweight 
that even if it's really hot, you're gonna be very comfortable in these pants. Um, they're not gonna be too hot for you. And then of course, this little cropped um, top is so cute. I love the length on this, um, especially for me. I don't have a, a long torso. I'm not, I have a pretty average size torso. Um, and I think the length on this is just really good. It's cropped, so it does hit me, but it hits me right at my natural waist, which is where a lot of, like I wear my pants normally. So it hits like right at that pant line. And it just kind of, um, even though it's like a little bit bloused up at the top, it gives you a little more room. Um, I know I had some questions on these tops, like what bra do you wear with that? What, what bra do you wear with that? I love this white one with the little bit of a see-through, like the peekaboo. Um, with the black bralette you could also just do a white bralette you could wear i in the pictures i just wore my regular bra and tucked the straps down but you could do like a strapless and these are just super cute in the back too they have the little tie just a really easy one and these come in <clears throat> like a taupe would be really pretty with this as well um and they come in black too so they're just a great vacay one because you know there's not a lot of opportunity to wear something like this especially if you live in a small town like I do. I feel like this is something that people would be a little more like, oh, that's a little risque, even though it's not. <laughs> um, but like on vacation, this is such a great piece because it's just perfect for that and it's fun and easy to style with. And then, of course, I put on, I actually, these look a little dirty because I actually took these to Florida with me just this last week um, and they were probably my most worn shoe there. They are so freaking comfortable. Um, there are little fringe detail. You know what? I don't know if I added the shoes to the collection. I think I kind of forgot. Um, we'll get the shoes added to the collection, but they're just the little fringe detailed shoe. They've got the fun stitching around. They are so, so comfortable. Um, I'm in the small, I'm in the size seven and they fit me perfectly. So go with, if you are, I would say I'm usually seven and a half and I'm in the seven and they fit me really well. So as long as you don't have like a super wide foot, I would go with um, the size down from your half size. If you have a wider foot, go with the size up from your half size if you're a half size bigger. But um, yeah, they're just like a super comfortable and this is like a cute beachy look. Like I said, if you're gonna go touring the town, if you're gonna go for drinks after the airport, anything like that. All right, next outfit. Am I missing any comments? I'm seeing a lot of things pop up, but I can't see the comments people joining um say hi when you're here we're just having some fun so the next outfit is going to be kind of like a brunch outfit um i think you guys are going to think this is really cute so let me quick get this on and i will show you how to style this one. Oh, mandy brought me a nice mirror this is why you need live helpers I did pull some makeup too because I'll show you how I pack my makeup um, here in a minute. <clears throat> we sell the Moira brand makeup, which I freaking love. It is one of my favorite brands of makeup I've come across. Um, it's just such a great, I wear it every day and I have now for almost a year. So it's a really great makeup brand. Um, they've had a few products go viral on TikTok. I've seen that Michaela, if you're a TikTok user, or I guess on Facebook, she's pretty big on Facebook too, but that Michaela, oh, I'm not going to remember her last name, but she's like the biggest makeup person out there. Um, she's demoed a few of her product products, like the blush, and she gave it raving reviews. So, big fan of those. All right. So this would be like a fun little brunch outfit. Um, or if you're on like more of a girl's trip, this would be a really fun, like girl's day outfit. Um, we just did a trip not too long ago to Scottsdale and the guys golfed and the girls, um, went shopping one day. And I feel like this would be like a really cute Scottsdale area, like shopping outfit. What I love about this as you can see, I had no shame in bending over. These have shorts in them. Um, they come in black, they come in a camel color as well, and then they come in this olive. They are a suede, which I typically wouldn't say for summer, but oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute. Um, I'm in the medium. These have tons of stretch, super comfy. They have this little tie detail to them, but how fun is this? Now you've transitioned to that top that you were wearing more casually. 
into a really fun, cute date night outfit that, or not date night, but like brunch, anything like that, just super cute. Every time I do these lives, my nose runs and I don't know why, it's the weirdest thing. So, you know, just bear with me. Who asked that? Sean. Oh, Sean. Um, I'm not sure which one you're watching on. If you are watching on Instagram, in our bio, there will be like a little link pop thing and it'll say vacay style sesh in there. You can click that. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, which is over on this side, uh, right in our description, I put the link and I think it should be working. Yeah, Mandy said it is working. So that should be in there. I'm gonna get the shoes added as soon as we're done. Um, I forgot to add them to the collection, but I will get the shoes added in for you um, when we're all finished up. These are so freaking comfortable. So what I did is I did the skirt and then I did these, which actually looks like a skirt all the way through, but has the shorts underneath that are a pretty good length too. Like they're just really comfortable. Um, and then I added, the little black wedge, since I do have the black bralette, just to kind of tie that all together. Um, and it's so cute. This wedge is really, really comfortable. Um, I like that it's not necessarily a heeled wedge like this. So you're not sitting like this on the balls of your feet so much. It's more of a flat wedge. But these little, um, if you can see them, I don't know if you can see them on camera. I'll show you real close. But um, these little pieces here actually bend. So sometimes a really flat wedge, you feel like you're clomping um, because it doesn't bend with your foot at all. But these have, as you can see there, these little slits on them. So even though they are a flat wedge, you get the height, but you don't get that like clomp, clomp, clomp because they're not bending with your foot. They do actually bend with your foot. They're really good quality. Um, I love the square toe on these and then they just strap and tie around the ankle and they have quite a few different settings. I have fairly big ankles um, and these fit me really, really well. Um, so now let me transition into one more outfit. So this is kind of a brunch. Now we can move into a fun date night look. One of our first date night looks I'll have for you. So give me just one second. Andy's just seeing me get all down to my skivvies in here. Okay, these pants are actually part of a set, but I love them because they are dressier. So I personally love this set and I'll show you, this will be a fun date night one too. But I love that these pants can be worn for, eight, like they're separates, you know? Um, so this set, these have pockets, they have the elastic waist. Um, the drawstring doesn't function on these, but they do have the elastic waist with tons of room, super comfortable. What I love about these for like a beach trip is that they're lightweight and very airy. And so like, even though you're wearing a pant, you're not gonna get hot, you're not gonna sweat through them. Like, they're gonna be super comfortable and they're very beachy feeling, um, if that makes sense. Like, just a very beachy feeling. Now, with this, if you wanted to get a little sexier for date night, you could blouse up that top a little bit, that cropped top, and get that going. I would just keep the same bralette. So now you've used this top, you've worn it three different times for three different outfits. Still super cute and it's lightweight for packing. These are the best. Um, but yeah, so then you get that fun beach. If you were taller, these are going to be like a really cute cropped, like almost like a gaucho. Oh, so, so cute. Um, and like I said, if you could reach to your screen and feel this, like it is the perfect beach material. <laughs> like it is so soft and stretchy and like just a really great feel. Plus it has pockets. Um, I'm somebody, I don't necessarily love carrying a purse all the time. Um, but I do love a good pocket, you know what I'm saying? We did pull out some purses too, I can show you guys here in a minute. Um, but yeah, so there's the pants, there's the first outfit. Now I'll show you the second outfit. I'm gonna keep the bralette on just so that um, I can kind of show you guys if you're somebody 
who doesn't like like a strapless. I wanna show you how it'll look with a bralette on, but this is a strapless piece. So it's a two set piece, um, but you can wear this with like a black bralette. You could do another colored bralette too. So let me show you what that'll look like. Make sure I put it on the right way so it, and this is smocked, this little top is, which I love. And like smocking has been huge this year. It's been everywhere. Okay, so here this is for a fun date night with the bralette. You don't have to wear the bralette. Without the bralette, it is just a um, straight across top. And it is, like I said, the smocked material. So just a really cute smocking um i'm in the medium in both of these and i will say like even if you're bigger busted this does stretch like a ton so you're gonna have some room in this top um i would say you're easily d double d could probably fit in this if you're comfortable in that especially if you were doing the bralette underneath now you could add in the cute denim jacket dress it down a bit cover up a bit if you wanted to, um, but you don't have to. I just think it's kind of cute to do the denim. I would roll the sleeve if I did the denim jacket. I don't have it unbuttoned. Or you could, my favorite way, is to add this little tote hat that we have. You could either do, you could do one of two things. You could go taupe, which I feel like is a little bit dressier and gives you a little bit. I always carry out my hats on, by the way. I never pack them in suitcases because I don't like them to get bent up. So there you go. You've got your taupe hat. Or if you wanted to dress it down just a little bit and have this for more of a beach are we good, Facebook? I just saw it said we're trying to reconnect. I think we're good. Um, you could do the black and do kind of a fun little bag um, with that. So there's a few different ways you can style this as well. All right, next we're gonna talk about some like day dresses. So as you're out and about, I love this little lemon dress. It's like a lime green, such a fun color for a vacation. Um, but bringing a dress like this one, we've also got that pink kind of ruffled one. You can pair them with a sneaker and you can wear them during the day and still look fashionable and super cute. Or you can, you know, dress it up with like the wedge a little bit and wear it for an evening out, um, or brunch or something like that. So always bring like a good dress that you can get some wear out of for like a full day. So let me get changed into this and then I will show you the two ways I would style this dress. I saw a lot of people suggest graduation outfits. So um, we will maybe next week since graduation is getting close, next Thursday we can do a graduation outfit live because I think that'd be kind of fun. I don't know about you guys, but being from a small town, it's like with graduation, the closer you are to the person, the more dressed up you have to be, <laughs> the further away like you are to the person, like if it's just an acquaintance you got invited to or whatever, like the less dressed up you have to be. So we'll put together some fun looks for that too. Okay, so here's the first way I would you could wear this. Those same cute shoes. And then I kept the bralette on so that you get the peak of black um, kind of peeking out there. And then you've got just this fun, easy dress. I love dresses to pack for vacation because they take up very little room. They're a full outfit in one. <laughs> you don't have a lot of thinking to do when you're wearing dresses. Um, you just throw it on and go. But here's the first way I would style it or one of the ways I would style it is just with your cute wedge 
And then I kept the black bralette on and just kept that same color like, kind of throughout. Um, and then, yeah, this would be like if you're going to get drinks, an evening out, a nice dinner, something like that. You could also then bring your jean jacket with. So that way if it got chilly, if you guys go for like a little walk on the beach, you've got your jacket. This looks super cute with the jacket. Um, it's just a nice, easy style, very fun and flowy. The jacket will be nice. You can carry that through from like day to night as well. Um, and I'll show you, you can get use out of your sneakers here. Let me get these sandals off. If you're going out and walking around, you have two options. You could wear like the sandals that I showed you, or if you're gonna do quite a bit of walking and you want your sneaker, a white sneaker is like the world's best shoe. You can style them with so many things. I love how it can take something that's a little bit dressier and take it down just enough to make it more daytime casual. So like for this, now you've got just a cute dress that you can go walk around the town in or do whatever you're gonna do, go shopping for the day, anything like that. You're super comfy, it's nice, it's lightweight. This is fully lined as well, um, but it's just a really great option for you. So you get the full day's wear instead of having to pack like two outfits in one, if that makes sense. So here is another, and again, you can always throw that jean jacket on with that. Um, okay, next up, we're gonna talk about one more little like out on the town shopping. I always pack one of these dresses. Um, I think I've kept one of these every single year in, probably in the black. <laughs> because I wear them that often. I love these, especially for like, my in-laws have a house down in Arizona and we'll go down there. And this is just a great one to throw on for the day. If we're gonna go like to the zoo or something like that, these are just nice, lightweight. They're um, a maxi. If you're taller, they're gonna be more of an ankle, but they're those rounded hem dresses. They're super comfy. They're so easy to style a ton of different ways but they're just a great daytime dress. So let me quick throw this on and I will show you what you can do for just a day around the town. If you've been following along, I was finally able to snag some more of these Stanley cups for the girls. And got two. Well, they don't all know. Only Mandy knows this right now. So it's a surprise for the rest of them this week. Hopefully they're watching live. Hopefully they're watching the live. All right. So here is this dress. But apparently these Stanley cups are like God's greatest gift to men. And I was gifted one. And then everyone here was like, oh my God, I'm so jealous. I want one of those. And so then because they all worked so hard to get the new website and mobile app and have adjusted to changes so well, because there's been a lot of changes in the back end with doing that switch over. I decided to get them all one and they arrived today and I was really excited. They're so cute. Um, but anyway, so here is this dress. Like I said, I keep these every single year. They're just a great little t-shirt dress. I love the length on these. If you're shorter, this is gonna be a maxi. If you're taller, it's gonna be you know, more of like that midi length for you, but they're just an amazing dress that can be styled a million different ways in the picture. I styled these with a belt um, for one of the styles. You can throw on, again, that same jean jacket that you wore on the plane. Throw that on for during the day or in the evening when it's colder. Um, you can add, if you're doing the black one, with these come in a few different colors, but if you're doing the black one, you can lose the jacket. And again, this can be styled different ways so you can wear it more than one day if you have to. I know some people are like, oh, I would never wear my clothes more than one day. Well, if you're on vacation, nobody knows. Like nobody, nobody but you knows. And as long as it doesn't smell and you don't get it physically dirty, I think you're fine. <laughs> but I would change into the, um, if I was wearing it like this with the hat, this hat, I would change into the wedges, um, but then you could do 
this hat as well and then I would do the sandals let me switch into the sandals which I left over here because I'm not very smart voila there's a cute little look and then if you're doing it for like beach get your beach hat get your beach bag swap sandals and get your beach sandals which if you haven't gotten a pair of these yet they are the best like Megan just came in one of our employees here and she bought the black ones because her son plays baseball and she likes them for like baseball games and stuff when it gets dusty then her shoes don't get so dirty and stuff. She can just rinse them underwater. So there's a bunch of different ways you can style this dress. These are just really good, like bring with you anywhere type dresses and have in your closet type dresses because they're amazing. Um, all right, next we'll do some more beach looks. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna put one of these on, but I wanted to let you guys know, this comes in both a romper version. If you're not a romper girl, this comes in a dress version. But I feel like this is a really good swimming suit cover up. It's easy to slip on and off, whether you like the dress or the romper version. So um, I'll put the romper version on just so you can see how the romper fits. The dress fits true to size as well. And it's a good, like a little more midi length. It hits right at my kneecap on that. So I'll put the romper on though so you can see it. Um, I'm gonna, again, Actually, I'm gonna take the bralette off so that you guys can see this one shoulder, but these are just really good, like throw on over a swimming suit and go type rompers. So cute. And I think they come in quite a few different colors, or each of them comes in, I know they both come in black, right? I think so. I think they both come in black as well. They might come in one more color. When it comes to like bathing suit cover-ups, obviously, a jean short and kimono is a great option as well, which we have pulled to. Um, but I always like to have something that's cute uh, that I can throw on or like pull on over because you never know when like you're gonna go, you decide you're gonna just eat at the pool or the beach, but then you're like, oh, that looks good. What's that restaurant? Especially if you're in like a um, all-inclusive that has you know, a ton of different restaurant choices, but they don't all allow like swimming suits in them. These are, this is what I like to do is just pack one of these type outfits to throw on over my swimming suit and wear to the beach because they are nice and lightweight. They're super cute. And they pass the like vibe check of <laughs> They pass the vibe check for getting into like restaurants and things like that, especially if you're on an all-inclusive. Um, if you're staying in an Airbnb, that's usually not as big of an issue, but like all-inclusives all have like different, um, different rules on what restaurants or what you can wear in certain restaurants and things. So these are just great because you can throw them on. Like I said, they come in both the romper version and the dress version. They are lightweight. They're easy to throw on. They will dry quickly, which I like. Um, they're super stretchy, so like good for that. I love that these, look at, they pass the fingerprint or the fingertip test. They, my booty doesn't stick out of them, so they're not like super short either. Um, they're just a really good fit overall, and it's got plenty of stretch, so even if you're bigger busted through either one of these, you're gonna have room through that um, top section. So this is just a really great one to pack um, any type romper like this is just a good option because like I said, especially in all-inclusives um, Where you need to throw something on and cover your swimming suit and not just look like you're wearing your suit to go into certain restaurants These are great um, But yes, so like I said they come in both the romper version and then also the dress version um, I've got one more dress to put on and then I will finish this is gonna be your va va voom night dress, okay guys? Like every time I go on a vacation, Wally and I always try to have one night where we get like dressed up because we never get to do that around here. We live in a small town and if you're going on vacation, like the fun is you get to dress up and like do things you don't normally get to do in your town. So 
I picked this dress because it's one of my personal favorites and after you've been sitting on the beach and getting a nice golden tan, this color is gonna look freaking amazing. And it's just, it's a silver. So um, it's like a silvery color. It's gonna be so pretty. So let me put this on real quick so I can show you guys your va va voo You obviously need to lose the beach sandals because those aren't so va va voomy. Gosh, why does my nose get so stuck? I don't know. This is always like the one exception I make to um, packing is like no matter how big or heavy the va va boom dress is, it doesn't matter, I'm packing it. Because it's my favorite thing. It's coming along. <laughs> it's coming along. All right, I'm wearing the entirely wrong underwear for this, so don't mind that. But again, you would wear your black little wedges. And like I said, with a nice tan that you just got on the beach, this is like, this is like the dress that's going to be, you're going to get compliments on it because it's so pretty. And again, this one is that, okay, I can't get this to buckle. Why can't I get this to buckle? Oh, for heaven's sakes. There we go. This is going to be that dress you show up at the restaurant and people are like, where did you get that? Like, that is beautiful. And it is so flattering. It's like, oh, I just love this. It's fully lined. So there's no see-through in this. Um, it's got this nice wrapped part to it. Like I said, I'm wearing the total wrong underwear for this, but it's those underwear that dig into my butt. I can never find good underwear because I've got a big butt. If you have any suggestions, please let me know <laughs> on that. But um, it's just so cute. I love the one shoulder. I love the color of this. It's like I said, it's a silver. It's not a white. It's not an off-white. It is a silver in person. So it's just a really pretty color. Um, it's that slinky type fabric. So again, great for the beach. It's not going to be too hot. It's just such a pretty like dress. You could wear your hair up if you want to get real fancy dancy um, or just keep it down keep it styled nice and wavy would be cute it's just a really fun evening dress and something that I personally don't get to wear that often that I would love to wear on vacation so just a I don't know about you guys but like I said I always pack like a va va boom dress so there's that and then last but not least I will show you just a couple um, kimono options Obviously, if you're going to the beach, like there are days where a pair of shorts and a kimono over a swimming suit are great. There are days where a pair of shorts styled with that white tee we had are great. There are days, days where you just want like shorts and a tank top. So um, I chose my favorite pair that I'm gonna show you guys. These are the Judy Blues, um, the distressed button up or destroyed button up, I can't remember. Um, button fly ones. These are my favorite pair that we've gotten in this year. We've gotten a ton of, I think I've gotten almost every style of Judy Blues that they've had for denim shorts in. They are fantastic, um, but I love this style. I love this color so much. So let me grab these on and then I'll show you with the little tank top. The bad part is, is on video, these take longer to button. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on tank top. Um, I grabbed one of our, this was one of our best selling tanks this year so far. It's the Henley, the little Henley tanks. 
because I just feel like these are so wearable and style friendly. Plus they're super cute. So obviously just a day around, sorry, this tag is going to be annoying. I'm going to take it off. Um, just a day around the resort, a day off the resort, just to go run and grab food or something like that. Easy. The style, super simple. You can also, I was really excited when I saw, I was actually really surprised when I saw that this one was still in stock. You can also throw a quick kimono over this, take the tank off, add your swimming suit underneath this, same thing add a hat. Now you're very beachy. Add a different hat. Now you're, oh, there's a string there. Now you're looking, you know, more like daytime ready. Very trendy, super cute, but these kimonos are such an easy, they're a one size fits most. I would say easily up to a 2X on these. Um, and then a small, you're going to get that really oversized fit if you're like a four, six, two, four, six size, you're going to get that oversized kimono fit, but easily these could fit up to an XL. Um, so this is the red one. I think it's like the multi-pattern one, I think is what we call it. I can't remember for sure. Um, but just such a fun, easy, simple look. I love a good kimono for the beach because they're easy to throw on over swimming suits. They're lightweight. You can use them as a towel if you need to, um, like sit on them at the beach. They dry really fast. Plus they just like elevate a basic tank and short option and make it look like dressier. So if you're going for that, like if you need to run in somewhere that needs to be a little dressier, has a more of a dress code. Plus you can throw these over dresses. Um, I don't know where the navy off shoulder what went. I took it off, but you could throw this over that navy off shoulder uh, romper that we had on and you've got a super cute like evening look again. So a little more casual evening look, but still a really cute evening look. Um, and then of course the blue one, these are easy to pack too. You can just like roll these into a ball and they stay super cute. They're just a great option. So that's kind of how I pack and think about things. Now you can pair this tank top with the pants. You can pair the white shirt with the jean shorts. You can kind of mix all of that around and make it work for your trip. However you like to style things, this is how I style things. I just got back from a trip in Florida this on Sunday and I pretty much packed very similar to all of this stuff. Um, I did take, I took the mermaid version of this bag and we used it at the beach and it was perfect. These bags are a great quality. They're a canvas. They dry fast. They don't get very sandy, which is nice. Um, so I did take that. I, I'm not somebody who wears a lot of hats on the beach, um, because I'm usually in the water and they fly away. But <laughs> if you are a hat person, these are really, really good as well. Um, and then I was going to show you really quick what I pack for makeup. So we don't sell any foundation, so I won't, but for foundation, I typically, because I have pretty bad rosacea, I always take a lightweight sunscreen foundation, um, one that has like 30, typically I'll use the It Cosmetics. I usually travel with that one because I think it's got like 50 SPF in it um, and it's the Bye Bye Foundation. So that's the one I like to travel with. It's a little more lightweight um, and goes on a little bit, not quite so full coverage. It's still a heavier coverage, but it's very lightweight, uh, and but it's not full coverage. And then, um, as far as other products, this is it. So the foundation, and then if you can see this, I've got two eyebrow pencils. One is the one I usually line my lips with. It's the lightest color, which I am restocking. So if you want to get your hands on that. And then I usually pick one of the eyebrow pencils. Typically I'll do the medium brown for vacation. Um, I almost always wear the dark brown when I'm doing pictures and stuff, but I usually go for a heavier makeup look when I do pictures and video and things like that. On vacation, I want more of that natural look, so I'll usually do the medium brown on vacation. My handy dandy, this is the goddess color. I wear this almost every day. It's my favorite color. It's the color I have on right now. 
if you can see that, my nose is all red because it's been running, but it's the color I have on right now. Um, it's the goddess one. Bella is a close second to my favorite. I like this goddess because it's a little more brown tone. Bella is a little more pink tone, but these are matte. They stay on forever. They are freaking amazing. How would you style the shorts for dinner? Traveling with our adult kids, so we are more casual this trip. Okay, I will answer that, Sean. Um, and then this is the blush I was telling you that Michaela from TikTok, if you are on TikTok, you know Michaela because she's everywhere. Um, but she does makeup and she reviewed these Moira blushes. They're their signature ombre blushes. They're so pretty. I would bring this Bella pink color because you're on vacation and it's that pretty like corally pink. It gives you that bright pink, you know, just you're on vacation, you're on a beach, it's gonna be good. Um, but these are amazing. I'm wearing tender rose today. You can kind of see like it's a good color. It stays on really well. Um, and then I like to bring palettes because you get so many things, they're easy to pack. So then I just throw all the stuff so um, that you had me at makeup palette and of course my trusty, very well, very, very loved, <laughs> this is my personal one, <laughs> very well loved highlight and contour kit for just a little bronzer and things like that. These two get me by. You can use this one. This you had me at makeup palette. I'll just show it to you quick. Um, I love this because it's got a black in it so you can just wet your makeup brush and use it as liner if you want to but then it's got all your neutral colors it's got some fun ones in there it's got some sparkles so you can do your daytime colors you can do your evening colors um i'm wearing a little bit darker than i normally go today um I'm, i did the divine yeah i did the divine with the smile so i did a little bit of this one and a little bit of this one I went a little darker than I usually do, but I was like, well, let's try it out. I haven't tried that combo yet. So um, I like to travel with palettes because they take up such little space. And then of course, I always travel with our makeup eraser cloths. I've used these for long before I even had a boutique. Um, they just get the makeup off your face so well. <laughs> like I can't even tell you, they're just the best. So you just get them wet. You can wash them. I usually use, um, I use the Cetaphil, no, the CeraVe Sensitive Skin Face Wash, and I'll just put that on, and then I can, I'm able to just wipe that away with those makeup cloths, and you can use them multiple times, and then I just throw them in like a little plastic baggie to bring them home um, when they're wet. So, um, Sean, you asked for like dressing up these shorts. So, one option you could do is instead of, like the kimono is obviously a great option to dress up shorts, but you could bring, I didn't pull any dressier tops really, um, but like the little pemplum top we had go live today would be a really cute option to dress this up. But more of a blouse style um, top would be really cute to style with these shorts. I don't know if we've got any, will you go pull me in? This is gonna be a sneak peek for you guys. <laughs> in um, the photo room, there's those ruffle sleeved like navy and orange. Grab the orange one. Um, I'll show you. This is a sneak peek. They're coming this weekend. I'm not sure what day, but I will show you how you can dress up these shorts just by bringing like another blousey type shirt. Um, if you're doing more of a casual type trip. Yeah, that one's perfect. I'll just do chose this orange color because I feel like it's very beach. It's kind of a fun color for the beach. But like doing a top like this with the shorts and then you could do the wedge if you wanted to dress it up a little more or keep just the simple dressier sandal that you brought. A little front tuck. You could add a belt if you wanted, but now this dresses that, that takes it from more of like a daytime to a little bit more of a dressier evening style, um, but just by adding like a blouse like this, which uh, like I said, these are a sneak peek. These are coming this weekend. We have them in a couple different colors. We have it in black right now in stock, um, but we have more of the fun spring colors coming this uh, weekend. So, but something like this or the pemplum top or even like, even like just the white blouse and then you could tie it on the side. Um, something like that would be really easy. With that white top you had at the beginning. Yes, let me just throw it on for you. And 
And this white top comes in black. It comes in red, which would be really pretty for like a beach vacation because it's kind of that really bright tomato red. Um, and it comes in a really pretty blue. That's not like a denim blue. It's a... I think it's called ocean. It's called ocean. So how perfect is that? But, so this is a little more oversized, but you could easily put that bralette back on with it, wear it off shoulder. Do a little tie with this would be really cute. If I can get it to do it for me, because I didn't style it. Do -do -do. It's been a while since I've tied up my shirt. Like a little side tie and then off the shoulder. Like that's a really cute look. You could do with the... Um, I won't strap the wedges because it takes me forever. But with the wedge, and now you've got just a little bit dressier look as well. Um, you could also add this little hat if you're a hat person. And now you've got a really fun, like, casual but really cute outfit that you can wear out for lunches or dinners and stuff like that. All right. I think that is everything for today's like I said if you guys have any suggestions on styles or events or things that you would like us to put together um, ideas for our next one will be on graduation wear because that is coming up so we will get that put together and we will be live Thursday um, at three o'clock just like we were today so next Thursday three o'clock and then um, with graduation wear like I said we'll go from dressy to casual um, we will go from dressy to casual on these or on the graduation one. Um, because I know like I was telling Mandy for graduations, like the closer you are to the graduate, kind of the dressier you have to be. And like the further away you are from the graduate, like if you're an acquaintance or whatever, like the less dressy you have to be. <laughs> so I'll put together some cute outfits for everything in between for you guys from dressy to casual. Um, and if you have any other suggestions, I know someone said concerts or things like that, anything, just let us know. We will get those put together. Otherwise, um, we will get this. I'm going to download this video. We will get this added to the mobile app, and then we'll add this to the website too, um, to the collection so that you can go back and watch this if you missed, like if you're just tuning in and missed the full um, video of it. It will also still be posted on Instagram and Facebook. So You'll be able to watch this in multiple places. It'll be about an hour before we get it uploaded on the website and mobile app, but it should post um, immediately after we end this one. So have a great day. We will see you guys live again next Thursday. Now I got to figure out how to end, end all of the...